I gotta go to the stock room. It's gonna take a while. It's a mess. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We're close. First go. It's good to see you. We can start with... Hello. What are you doing here? I got your message. Wow, well, this is two months ago. I wasn't easily accessible. But when I came up for air, my handler got me the message and... Oh, I gotta spend some time in that stock room. The place is a mess. I... Frisco? What the hell are you doing here? Hello, Mac. Been a long time. I'm not going to be able to hold it up there much longer. You look tired. Long trip? Yeah, long trip. I guess a life of covert ops and dodging bullets takes its toll. That you look rested. Feel great. So tell us, Frisco, what could possibly drag you away long enough from your adventures to grace us with your presence? My daughter's pregnant. Is that supposed to be a secret? I knew. I knew. I've been holding her hand the whole time. Well, it's pretty exciting news, right? Granted, it's Luke Spencer's grandchild. Either way, I... I thought it was time to pay Maxie a visit. Well, it wasn't time when Maxie was on trial for her life and Georgie lost hers, huh? I was in the field. You're always in the field, Frisco. In fact, you made it perfectly clear that staying in the field takes priority over everything else in your life, including your remaining daughter. Tell me, how did you even find out about Maxie? I found out from my wife. not your wife anymore. I didn't know you and Frisco were in touch. Well, I wasn't directly in touch with Frisco. I had to wrangle with a bunch of government bureaucrats just to get a message to him in the field. I wanted him to know about Maxie. I just don't understand why you didn't tell me that you had contacted him. Hey, Mac. I understand that you and Felicia have a history. We were married. Well, I'm not sure how that now defunct marriage entitles you to keep tabs on whether or not the mother of my children drops me a line once in a while. Once. I dropped one line, See, not once in a while. she's becoming defensive because of you already. Why is it any of your business what Felicia it's tells me about? It's my business, Frisco, because I'm the one who raised Maxie and Georgie when you couldn't be bothered. And just so you know, Felicia and I, we're back together again. not know that. Congratulations. Thank you. I'd buy a round and we could toast, but it appears that the bartender's gone for the night. I'm the bartender. Really? Must be nice to get back to your roots. If I remember, you always could sling a mean drink. Why don't I wash up and then we'll have that toast. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and barkeep. A martini, gin, not vodka, twist, no olives. Talk about surprise. <laughs> he was surprised too. Why didn't you tell him we were back together? So when you were telling Frisco about Maxie's pregnancy, why didn't you tell him we were back together? Well, because. When I was leaving a message about Maxie to Frisco's handler, it never occurred to me to talk about my love life. Is that it, or are you... Am I what? Embarrassed. By what? By your bartender boyfriend. Are you serious? Come on, Felicia. Even when I was police commissioner, you know, I wasn't exactly infiltrating terrorist cells and taking down hostile regimes. As I recall, you took a bullet or two in your day. Yeah, look at me now. I am. I am looking at you now. And I love what I see, and I have to tell you that I feel luckier now than I ever have to be with you here. Then why didn't you tell him? Because it's just none of his business. He's my ex-husband, and my connection with him starts and ends with Maxie. And I thought that he should know about Maxie, so I left him a message. And then, and then what? When he showed up, you were going to spring our relationship on him then? 
Actually, no. I didn't even think he would show up. I mean, come on. It's Frisco we're talking about. Exactly. And now that he's here? And now that he's here? So what? I'm with you. And no amount of bragging about covert ops or espionage is going to change that. Period. So, how about that toast? Any north of the Tierra del Fuego. Cheers, honey. Oh, thank God you guys are still open. You are not going to believe the day that I've had. It's bad enough that Lulu is hovering. I'd like to hear all about your day. Dad. I'm Maxie. 